Hello everybody, Mr. Zed here. And the book we're going to read today is called The Worry Warts by Pamela Duncan Edwards and illustrated by Henry Cole. And I just have to admit that this book is extra appropriate for me, especially this week, because of just the difficulties I have managing my stress and it's been like that for me since I was young and I have to admit I spend a lot of time in the the gym at the skate parks and at the swimming pool because I have such a difficult time um, getting through the the anxiety that I sense when I think about the amount of work I have piling up in my studio uh, the book project that I'm currently working on is very complicated and I just, I'm having a tough time taking one step at a time, uh, like my mother reminded me I should do. And uh, so it's good to talk with somebody about the stress you're experiencing and uh, you can find, develop strategies to help you manage your stress appropriately. Um, maybe I need to start working on just some planking in the living room where I can not spend the whole morning getting geared up and going to the skate park or the gym. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with those kinds of things, but if you have to do it every day or go on multiple outings to manage the stress because you can't sit still, uh, well then it becomes problematic. So yeah, I guess uh, just work on your own strategies and, um, and hopefully you can manage your stress uh, appropriately. Okay, let's begin. So once again, the worry warts. Now, the back of the story doesn't really tell us too much about the story other than who's involved. So we can see a few of the characters, get an idea, I'm not sure what kind of animal those are specifically, but, um, or maybe they're not even the same type of animal. But anyway, we've got some characters, and what I can tell you about the story is uh, it repeats the initial word in, uh, throughout the story, so, or throughout most of the words in the story, so that, um, writing technique is called alliteration. So just pay attention to the sound you hear at the start of each word and it's pretty clear quite quickly in the story. All right, next page. The worry warts. Wow, it looks like they do get themselves into trouble. Okay. One warm Wednesday morning, the sun winked through Wombat's window and woke her up. What a wonderful day to wander the world, she thought. Wombat went to ask Weasel and Woodchuck whether they would go with her. Where is the world? asked Weasel, past the wishing well, down the pathway and through the woods, answered Woodchuck, who was very well read. So they set to work, wondering what to take with them. Wombat wanted watercress on whole wheat bread sandwiches, walnut wafers, waffles with whipped cream, wedges of watermelon, and her walking stick. Weasel wanted 
Wieners and Liverwurst and his water pistol. Woodchuck wanted the W volume of Webster's Book of Words in case they needed to look up information about the world. But then Wombat one or sorry, but then Wombat began to worry. Wait, she wailed. What if We're walking past the wallflowers and a swarm of wasps is waiting. What if they swirl around us and we've nothing to swat them with? What if we're running away and we're not watching where we're going and suddenly we're, wa we're wading up to our waists in water? What if a wave whooshes over us and a wallowing walrus swims up and swallows us? What then? If we're going swimming, said Weasel, I'll want to wear my water wings. You're so wise, Weasel, cried Wombat. We won't be worrywarts. But then Weasel began to worry. Wait, he wailed. What if... We're walking down the pathway when a wicked wolf comes winding his way toward us. What if we wave to him, but he won't wag his tail? What if we're running away when the weather worsens? What if a whirlwind blows in from the west and sweeps us away into the wilderness? What then? If it's going to be windy, said Woodchuck, I'll want to wear a my woolly underwear. You're so wise, Woodchuck, cried Weasel. We won't be worrywarts. But then Woodchuck began to worry. Wait, he wailed. What if... We're whistling while we walk through the woods, and we wake up an owl. What if he gets worked up and swoops down with a swish of his wings and whisks us away? What if the weight's too much for him and he begins to wobble? What if he drops us into a swamp and a warthog comes waddling along and wallops us? What then? If we're going flying, said Wombat, I'll want to wear my wind helmet. You're so wise, Wombat, cried Woodchuck. We won't be worrywarts. Then, without wasting any more time, they wrapped the watercress on whole wheat bread sandwiches, the waffles with whipped cream, the walnut wafers, the wedges of watermelon, and the wieners and liverwurst in waxed paper. Woodchuck put the W volume of Webster's Book of Words into his wheelbarrow, and away they went to wander the world.
After a while, Wombat said, I was wondering whether we should eat our sandwiches. So they sat on a wall. They played with a wiggly worm and watched a spider weaving a web on the wisteria. But suddenly, watch out, warned a woodpecker from a weeping willow tree. Something swooshed around Wombat's watercress on whole wheat sandwich, whoops, sorry, on whole wheat bread sandwiches. A wasp, she cried. Swiftly, Wombat whacked the air with her walking stick and whizzed a wedge of watermelon into some weeds. Wow, whooped the wasp. Watermelon, mouth-watering. And the wasp went winging away. Well done, wombat, cried weasel and woodchuck. You were wonderful. You're welcome, said wombat, and they set off again to wander the world. But suddenly, watch out! Whoops, watch out! Came a whisper from a rabbit warren. Someone came swaggering down the pathway toward them. Whoops, cried Weasel. A wicked wolf. Swiftly, Weasel twirled his wieners and liverwurst into some wildflowers and swooshed his water pistol at the wolf. Wieners and liverwurst, cried the wolf, wiping his wet whiskers. I'm wild about wieners and liverwurst. Away he went with his tail wagging. Way to go, cried Wombat and Woodchuck. You were very wily, Weasel. We weren't wimps, agreed Weasel, and they set off again to wander the world. But suddenly, watch out, warbled a wagtail. Woodchuck saw an eye twinkling behind a twig. An owl, he cried swiftly. Woodchuck whirled his W volume of Webster's Book of Words at the owl. Wang! Whoopee, cried the owl. Just what I wanted to help me in my word game. You're so wise, Woodchuck, said Wombat and Weasel. We've walked a long way, said Wombat. I'm weak and weary, said Weasel. I'm worn out, said Woodchuck. So they went back along the pathway. When will we wander the world again? Wondered Wombat. I wish we could go again next week, said Weasel. Why not, said Woodchuck. But... What if right on, I hope you enjoyed that story. It was fun to read, and I'll see you again next time.